Well, go ahead if you got the magic. Hello, everyone. Brindicus here. <laughs> They just told you you could be yourself. You don't have to be here. You just... I can't help it. It's, it's a staple. It has to be done that way. Hello, everyone. Bernicus here. <laughs> with my support, emotionally clad, foundation group of friends. You posted like such hobos. We are here with Season 1, Episode 12, Without My Pants, Round the Twist. So, I mean, maybe there'll be something to work with here. Without my pants? Okay. Without my pants. Finish the rest of that sentence, David. Without my pants. That's what it's getting channel for. Without my pants. Oh, I was trying to think of something clever myself. So my first thought was, but with your wife. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let's do this episode. Hey, Brennan. Like this. Burp, burp, burp. You know how <laughs> dumb we sounded on that video? Which one? Because you're like, when the scarecrows surf down the stairs. <laughs> I, we sounded like a bunch of seals. Because you're like, surfboard, like, surfboard, surfboard, surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> like we're having a fucking mental break. <laughs> like, I was watching it, and I was like, oh, it sounds so stupid. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. Rain on that was. <laughs> I mean, all of it. But you can hear me over here pulling in air and go, surfboard! I was trying to get it over with you so quick. <laughs> Alright. I'm an angry sea boat captain. Get out from your pants. You got it. You know, Ugh. That was, that was a very real frustration. The what? Binoculars. The binoculators. Wow! Take them off your neck. I saw Miss Margaret's tits. What? What? Where's she gone? There I'm lost. It's like a Dragon Ball Z dog. That's a transmission. Yeah, you're just gonna catch him. What's he running for? Why don't he just teleport over there? Because Bronson keeps having sex with him. <laughs> yes, there is. Look. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you got a green baby out of the cabbage patch. There's nothing beyond a dog to lay some eggs. Well, he walked on water, so he's a holy dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is probably the episode where he dig up the skull. She knows about everything. It has a painting to illustrate it. Ghost dog? Maybe yes, maybe no. Who owned it? This man, Ben Byron. His dog fell overboard in a storm and he jumped in to save it, but they were both drowned. A couple of years ago, a dog dug up one of his boots. Gribble's got it in his shop window. Mr. Gribble wants people to find his bones for the fun man. It's no laughing matter. That dog at the beach must have been Ben Byron's dog. It's a hundred years ago. This is also the ever. flattest Mountain Dew I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pink. <laughs> Which I think would give it some personality. This guy sucks. Hello, time for class today. Oh, oh, oh. Now I'm going to wipe away the soporific cobwebs and make it live so that the plasma. This is our Dark Lord Satan. He wants you to learn from me and then touch me in my pantaloons. You praise Buzzabelle. That is the type of guy that wears a bow tie. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hentai? I don't think they should be talking about that. Yes? Anyone else? Yes, do tell. Yes, ass mouth, sir. Hey, Tim. An early dog. Unlubed anal fisting, perhaps? This sailor Ben Byron drowned at Dead Bone Bay trying to save his dog shovel. Mr. Gribble's got one of his shoes in his shop. I'm gonna go in, ask him for a lens, see if I can use it in my talk. 
No chance. Twist, that'll never ever let you have it. It's a valuable fart effect. <laughs> artifact, you idiot. Artie, Artie, Artie. Did he say artifact? He did. Oh, artifact. God. Hilarious. Uh, yes, artifact, like when it, when it would have gas. Ah, oh, it's you. Come on, boys. Smile, smile, smile. We'll never win the fun town competition with all this. This guy's got the boots. That guy touches people too much. Close talker. Because no one likes it. Father Fortune, son. <laughs> no, the Ben Byron shoe in the window. No, 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 no. Definitely not. No, I've got big plans for that shoe. What plans? Well, Port Narenda is in the fun town competition. I'm going to wear it? If we win, tourists will come from everywhere. Now, I myself am running a Hunt the Bones quest. What you do is you send everyone down to the beach with a spade, let them dig the beach up, see if they can find one of old Ben Byron's bones. It's a great idea. It's new. It's unique. It's exciting. It's today. Okay. He's hard. dumb. I still don't think we should be looking for dead dogs. Yeah, well, I didn't ask you to come. Also, y'all kept calling this dog a pig in the intro. Yeah. And I was like, it's a dog. Oh, got him! Electro dog. What? He's gonna start digging. Gave me a shock without my pants. What? Can't stop saying without my pants, without my pants. Oh. And everybody's all right with this. Here come a bunch of gapers without my pants. <laughs> Did you find the dog? That's like when you used to do that in bed. That's a big mystery. Yeah. I went down the beach. Without, without my, my pants. pants. Not again. I had enough of that during the cross country run. What? No. Oh, throwback when he had the panties. Oh. Without my pants. Give him a butthole mouth again. This is going to be a bad episode. Without my pants. No, shovel. Without my pants. I touched him and green sparks jumped up and now I can't stop saying without my pants. Without my pants. Dad, listen to him. Come on, Pete. Listen to him. <laughs> He's funny the way he talks. He, he don't talk good. I've got plenty of pants. <laughs> The child has obviously had a minor stroke. That girl's too cute to be dealing with you. Yeah. Hi, hi, John. So am I. Do you want to train me? Yeah. Without my pants. Without my pants? <laughs> snappy, 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 snappy. She's never been more scared but excited at the same time. Yeah. But she, you know, at some point she'd be like, look, there's normal boys in this fucking school. You've always got some kind of issue. You can't say shit right. You wear panties. You got a butthole mouth. <laughs> like, there's always something fucked up with you. I, I can't deal it's with enough. it. It's enough. You're too much. It's too much. Come on, Pete. It's not like you to be so shy. Couldn't get the shoe without my pants. But I found the dog without my pants. You know, having a minor brain aneurysm every time he tries not to say it is worse than just saying it. Like he's essentially developed a form of Tourette's. I'll draw. You know, but I have a feeling that's a real Australian teacher. Hey, where do they keep getting all these goddamn awesome sweaters? They've changed eight times. These fucking sweaters are pent. Like, if you went... Now club them on the head like a baby seal. You're like you fucking know. Like you're a bonologist. He's <laughs> <laughs> an expert in boniology. 
Just touch the dog again and see if it takes the powers. God damn. <laughs> I mean, they're sticking with it. He's just crying because he's scared because the two older adults are crying. He's shitting. If we win this fun town competition, it'll put us on the map. Watch out for a guy who'll probably be clowning around. He's judging the competition. Come on, oh. darling. Oh, God. It's the boner killer. The boner mouthful. It's not fair to keep it here. Look, I told your brother the shoe is not for sale. <laughs> Why are you crying? Without my oh, pants. <laughs> Come on, stop it. Is, it, is everybody <laughs> fucking weirdo in this town wears a bow tie? For the record, I own several bow ties. <laughs> well, you pull them off better than Edgar Allan Poe over here. <laughs> I don't whip my hair up on the sides. It's like... <laughs> What were those crying little bitches doing in here? I don't care for street urchins. I hope coming in here I'd get a hug. Hug me in my floppy hair. Where are the in the trunk without my pants. Try and stop the sadness by locking them away without my pants. Stop working. What is this episode about? What are we doing? I think it's, it had to do are with this guy that died on the boat and they drink dead baby's blood in the boot. And the RCA dog like gives them Speech impediments and crying fits. Oh. They get it. Oh, they've gone again. They're fucking gone again, oh. Nothing without my pants. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, this is this is this the worst is episode. Terrible. Anybody who wa if y'all put you put this up, anybody who watches this on your YouTube channel should never come back. <laughs> that includes me. So you've got skeletal remains in the house. Like I don't know about Australian laws, but are you or are you not sort of desecrating a corpse in a way? It's live. It's real. They want the other bones. So they're going to rebuild an animated skeleton? The thing is, if that part comes to life, so will the other part. And then clearly it will try to walk the earth in search of souls. And it has a demon dog. As it's familiar. It's such a soft-hearted man. It's only a mouse. If only your dick wasn't as soft as your heart. On the same size as that dead rat. You pathetic limp dick piece of shit. Without my pants. Without your pants. I would punch that guy in the nose and oh is he French? This is a French ambassador. <laughs> yeah, he seems like a fun guy. Yeah, I'm glad he's judging the fun of a town. That's why he has a mushroom haircut. He looks like the preacher from Sleepy Hollow. He is a caucus. Are you going to finish that? Is there a gas leak? <laughs> the blade. <laughs> oh, fuck. This time it's serious. I want a proper report. No more jokes. Don't you mean no jokes, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hilarious scamp. Read out my pants. <laughs> proper report, Peter. This is the show of Ben Byron. The bones want to be reunited. They make you cry whenever you go near them. The dog is a ghost dog, 100 years old. But he's going to say, I'm watching you, watching you. Here we go. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. It's without my pants. Oh, yeah. It's without my pants. Oh, yeah. It's without my pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is true. I hope to die, and all of you will be crying. 
by the time I'm finished without my pants. You're breaking my heart. Oh. Like it's funny. I see why everybody got recasted. Mm -hmm. These are the late boys of the fire and without my pants. <laughs> well, not everybody's gonna cry. <laughs> craziness. It's all liquidy. My eyes are peeing. <laughs> Without my pants. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're barely audible when they're not having an emotion on them. I can understand them when they're doing this. The one on the right is such an actor, though. God, he's nailing it. What are you going to do with that? I was going to ask the same fucking question. He's got his you know, bone detector 2000 out here. Bone diggity. What if it's a Geiger calendar? They're just getting all the radiation. This boot makes you laugh. His yellow shoe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel sad. Oh, God. Get the other bones. Come on. This is the most bone talk I've ever heard. Let's murder the twist kids and, and we we'll bury the them. Without my pants. Without their pants. And we're going to rape two of them. You get to pick. Did kids like this? Was it kooky enough for... <laughs> See, Luna does that at the house. Just brings me random bones. No. It's a Mexican parka. This part where he finds a skull. They need to hurry up and find that goddamn skull. We've been knowing this was going to happen for... Since, like, the first episode, so... Also, why was his body parts just thrown across the beach? Mm -hmm. He must have committed some hate crime back then. Man, it's almost like they're trying to run. Drown him. Drown him in the ocean. Does he ever shut the fuck no, up? No. Hand over that shoe. Okay, no violence. I'm a packing fist. Huh? Yeah, Invisible dog. dog. Invisible dog pissing on your leg. Invisible dog piss. Ah, it's melting my skin off. Guess what? Kick him in the nuts. Kick him in the nuts. Oh, come on. What are you doing? He's uh, looping him through the conifers. Without his pants on. Without my pants. Give me them bones. I'll get it. Oh, it's just a square box. Oh, I was like, about to say. Geo throw! So, do you want to go? Nah. Just came to make sure he didn't hurt you. I saved the shoe. Google didn't want the bones. 
But you totally just killed that kid, right? Yeah, he's dead now. Those are like inmate pants. Hand you back your bonds. Hand them. I'm getting kicked around without my pants. Uh. So hilarious. This is terrifying. Children should be screaming. Somebody have a gun? Hand over that shoe without my pants. We want those bites. Fucking dead body of Megatron. <laughs> and you're just making one hand of grabs. Bye. Bye. That was rather amusing. Thank you, Ichabod Crane. He wants something else. Oh, I know what you want. He wants me without my pants. Don't worry, I wouldn't bury you without your pants without my pants. You put on corpse pants. Those are really. I gotta, cool. I gotta have sex with it to appease it. So. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. That's it. No shirt. No. Just boots and pants. No shirt. No shoes. No problem. <laughs> I mean, the kid's wearing a. John Candy from yeah. fucking yeah, Uncle Buck. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles or Uncle Buck or whatever. There he is. You he want some fish sticks? They didn't tell you boys I was a convicted serial rapist, did they? I've been giving my bones to children for years. <laughs> without your pants. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say without my pants. Did I? <laughs> oh god, that was a bad episode. That was the worst episode. That's the worst episode we've done so far. There's been a few really bad ones. That was bad. I'm actually mad at TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.